Marketing Essentials. I'm your host, Chris Mellon. We all know the internet is a big place with a lot of opportunities for marketing. How do we reach your potential customers on the internet, though? Well, over the next few minutes, we're going to go over one method for reaching out to your online customers, and it's called pay-per-click advertising. Whenever you search for something on a search engine, like Google, two types of results come up, organic and sponsored. Organic results are derived from the search engine scouring the internet using complex algorithm to figure out which sites are most relevant to your search. Sponsored results, on the other hand, are based on people or businesses paying the search engines for the sites to come up under specific search terms. Although the search engines display the results under the title, Sponsored Links, these results are known from a business perspective as pay-per-click advertising, or PPC for short. Pay-per-click ads work just as they sound. You pay per click on the ad. This ensures that you're only paying to advertise to people who have some interest in your business. Given that a vast majority of searches go no further than the first page, it's important that your business appears on the first page. The closer to the top, the better. You can get there one of two ways, organic or via pay-per-click ads. Organic is free and therefore better, right? Well, not so fast. Placing well within organic results takes a lot of hard work. You have no guarantees of success. But does that mean that pay-per-click advertising is better? Well, not entirely. Although you lock into a top spot on the results page, you're still ultimately paying potential customers to even look at your site. The reason you want to use pay-per-click ads is to supplement your organic results. Your web page should be ranked organically by the search engines, but it won't always show at the top of the page, or even at the first page at all. Meanwhile, pay-per-click ads will appear at the top of the results page, but will have a limited number of conversions determined by your budget. By utilizing both organic and pay-per-click ads, you're maximizing the number of potential customers driven to your site. So how do you use pay-per-click advertising? You'll want to use a preferred pay-per-click vendor, such as Reach Local, to run your campaign. You get the expertise you might not have yourself and will save hours of work. Although the initial setup of the campaign is relatively easy, the vendor's program analyzes the performance of the campaign and makes it more efficient in drawing in customers over time. The cost of a pay-per-click campaign has a lot of variables. The industry you're in, the population of your market, the length of your campaign, and the amount of business you want to drive all impacts the cost. When budgeting for a pay-per-click campaign, you'll want to plan for it to run three months or longer. Part of the service you are buying is the management and optimization of the campaign, and it takes time to find the keywords to meet your needs and your budget. It's like looking through an unfocused lens. Although you can see okay, why wouldn't you take the time to bring everything into focus? That's pay-per-click advertising. Pretty easy, right? If you'd like to look at getting your pay-per-click campaign up and running today, give your brand's marketing manager a call and they'll help you get started. Stay tuned for our next Marketing Essentials video. If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, feel free to email us at the address listed.